Hello everyone, in this episode we're going to get a little bit more practice with activities, passing data between them, and making them dynamic. Now, we're going to start fresh with a new project, so get an open Android Studio and start a new Android Studio project, and we're just going to go with an empty activity, and we're going to call this whatever you want. Uh, we'll just call it like activity practice. And we're going to go with Java, but I mean, if you're using Kotlin, by all means, whatever. Uh, okay, looks like I already have an activity practice, so it was named activity practice 2, but yours is probably just activity practice, and that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to make an activity that is separate from, remember, like, the whole idea is to keep things separate. So we have the main activity, which is, like, the home page, and then we have a new activity, which acts as its own module sort of so we can just pass data to it and it will work so imagine if you're working with an email application you compose an email and that'll work if you reply to john if you reply to sally or you reply to someone else and you don't have to have a new activity for each one of those options you just have one and then you kind of generalize it so that you can take input such as who you're sending the email to so that's just kind of like a silly example but we're going to basically try to produce that same concept here right now. So if you wanted to have a list of emails, you could really easily do that with a recycle or recycler view. And you can get that by clicking that little arrow there. But it's not quite as simple as just dragging and dropping and then boom, you're done. There's a little bit more work to it. So we're going to save that for another episode because that's really not the focus of this episode. And that'll take some time to set up and explain. So we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to work with some buttons. So we'll drag a couple buttons in here and we'll zoom in here and you can lock these to the left and to the top just so they're not just all in one spot. Again, I'm not working on design here. I'm just trying to get some functionality going. So what are these buttons representing? Well, imagine we have a list of emails and we have the option to reply to the first one, reply to the second one, reply to the third one and so forth. So each one is like a reply. Now, you can generalize this a little bit and think, hey, this might work for an application where you can respond to support tickets or respond to instant messages. It doesn't have to be email. It's just that concept here. So if you remember from an earlier episode, we have this on click handler. So click one of these buttons and we have this on click. We can just say something like compose message. And we're going to create that method because you can see it's red now. It doesn't like that. So we're going to go into the main activity.java. And we're going to create that method. So we'll say public void compose message. And it's going to take the argument, which is the button that you clicked. So that's of type view. V is the name. All right. So also, I'm stupid and I put this in the wrong spot. So make sure this goes inside of the class there. Beautiful. All right, so here is where we would handle that button click, and we can actually set that to the on click for all of these. And we're going to make sure that this works. So uh, just, yeah, it looks like it, it's it's working. So we'll do that for all of these. Go to the on click and compose message. So regardless of which button we click, it's going to work. So now we can change the text on these. We'll say the first one is reply to John. This one is someone else. Uh, I feel like that's a better spelling. There we go. So reply to John, reply to Sally, reply to Amy. Now, regardless of which one you click, you want to do the same thing. You just want it to be a little bit different. So let's create that new activity. And to do that, you go into where your main activity is, right click that folder and say new activity. And we're going to go with an empty activity. And we'll just call this compose message activity. And that will generate the, the file here as well as the XML, which will be named activity underscore compose underscore message dot XML. And it looks exactly like the one we had, but now we have to put a little bit of stuff on here as well. So we will start with a text view, which is just going to basically Imagine this being who we're sending the message to. So that's what we're going to dynamically change. And then we're going to actually have a, a, a multi-line uh, text here. So we'll go multi-line text. 
drag that in here, anchor this here and to the left. And then lastly, we can have a send button. So we might want to give this a little bit more space so you can drag down the corner here. And then we can have a button which we'll just put below it. Looking good. Oh yeah, man. Very nice. Okay, so what we can do is we can run this just to confirm that the buttons are working and that it's launching this new activity. And then we can start working with the data to change what shows up here and so forth. So give this uh, some time to run and we will check out the application, make sure everything is working. Throw this in full screen and scroll over. All right, so we reply to John. Kind of an important part I forgot. Duh, we need to actually synchronize that when you click, we, we launch this new activity. I don't know how I managed to forget that, but in the compose message, we have to start with an intent, which is how you launch a new activity. So we'll call it I and say new intent. It's gonna take two arguments. The first one is going to be this. So the instance of, of the main activity and then compose message activity dot class. Next, we're going to say start activity and we're going to pass in I, the intent. So that should make it launch the new activity we're not doing any data passing, but at least it should uh, actually do something. So we'll let this refresh, click those buttons and make sure I'm not being stupid this time. So click that button and it works. If you wanna go back, you can click the little arrow here to go back. Awesome. And you see all three of them work. So we are, we are in business. Now, now we have to talk about how to actually pass data between the two. So what are we gonna do? We're going to get the, the person's name. So we'll create a string. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to take that name and we're going to pass it with the activity or with the intent. So we'll say I dot put extra. We'll give this the name name comma and then the actual value which is going to be stored in this variable here. So now we have to get this value and to do this, we just say v.getText. This isn't an option on this on this uh, object, so we actually need to cast this to an edit text instead of just a view, and then pass this whole thing in parentheses before the dot, there we go. So that is how we get the name, great. Now we can access that inside of the other activity, so Let's go over here to compose message activity and inside of here we can say get intent that's going to return an intent so we'll just assign it to a variable called I and then we'll say string name is equal to I dot get string extra and pass in that key which is name so now we should get whatever that name is here and now what we can do is we can dynamically update this value here so to say that we're sending a message to whoever it might be so let's do that let's get that thing's id we'll go into the uh active or yeah the activity main here or no sorry this one and grab that text view so the id is just text view and we need to set the text attribute so uh we'll go in here and we will say find view by ID, r.id text view, set text. Same thing here, we just need to do the casting. So we'll cast this to a text view and then put everything in parentheses before the dot for the set text. What are we gonna set it to? We're gonna set it to name. All right, we're not getting any errors on this page, so that all looks good, but in the main activity.java, it looks like we have an error so let's take a look and see what is going on. Uh, I'm not seeing anything, so maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just a little confused. Let's run this and see if it if it compiles. Okay, cannot find symbol class edit text. Okay, yeah, that's just because we need to capitalize it. The class name is has a capital. So let's run this now. 
uh, editable cannot be converted to a string. Okay, so to fix that, all you have to do is say to string. Pretty simple. Run that. Now let's give this a try. So we reply to John and it crashes. Oh yeah. All right, let's go into the run, see what happened here. Um, I'm not getting anything. So let's let's just try this again. See see what's going on. Reply to John. Weird. All right, here we get an exception so we can look at it. Could not execute method for Android on click. So the actual problem is fairly simple. I am doing an incorrect cast here. We're, we're making it in edit text, but it's actually a button. So we just need to convert this to a button instead. All right, let's go over to the app. Reply to John. And there we go. Reply to John shows up here. We can type in our message. And then we can turn this button into a submit button and send that message off somewhere else. So that is the basics of working with activities. The beautiful thing here though is that this compose message activity will allow us to send a message to any of these people. I mean, in theory, it doesn't actually work right now, but you know, we could make this functionality work by programming this button right here, which would be very similar to how you would do it with clicking these buttons you would just create a method for the on click event and so forth. So there you go, guys. That's a little bit more practice working with activities. Hopefully that was helpful for you. And be sure to stay tuned in the next episode because there's actually a potential issue with our, uh, with our application that we're going to try and fix. So thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one.